Growing Deer TV is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Also by Reconics, Trophy Rock, Gallagher, Muddy Outdoors, Eagle Seed, Nikon, Barnes, Ansman, Redneck Hunting Blinds, and Antler Dirt. Uh, today we're in one of our clover food plots. And as you can see, the clover is just starting to really come out of its dormancy. The deer are starting to munch, they're starting to come in here, starting to pick off these new fresh little growth leaves. We've seen a bunch of scat as we walked in. But our utilization cage isn't really showing a lot of consumption yet, basically because the clover is just starting to get going. Clover makes up about 5% of our food plot strategy on the proving grounds. And the reasons why it's at 5% is because during a couple critical times of the year, clover doesn't do quite as well. We don't have to have much more than 5% because clover is fairly resistant to browsing. So a few small places located throughout the property allows every deer within the area to feed on that clover while our other plants are germinating. As you can see, we've come down to one of our brand new uh, ponds that we created last fall here in Clay Hill. And at this particular pond, especially during this time of year, we're gonna do some frost seeding. This time of year is great for frost seeding because you have that freeze thawing going on every day. You have that freezing going on at night, you have the thawing going on during the day, and as it occurs, the soil moves up and down, there's cracks formed, and any seed that you had broadcast will work down into those cracks and allow them to germinate and grow very well this spring. Anytime I'm frost seeding this time of the year, I like to apply about twice as much seed as I normally would, at least when it comes to clover. Normally we apply about nine pounds per acre. Today I'm gonna to apply about 18 pounds per acre. Just because we know the soil is cool, it's gonna take a little longer to germinate, some seeds aren't gonna make it, some are gonna get eaten by birds or other animals, and some are probably gonna get washed off site. When we do frost seeding, we like to use a small hard seed. That is because in particular, hard seeds usually last a little longer out there in the environment, and also those small seeds tend to go down into those cracks and work down into the soil better and more easily germinate. Larger seeds like soybeans, on the other hand, are a little more prone to rot, and it's also much more difficult for them to fit into these cracks and to get that adequate seed to soil contact. Doing frost seeding this time of the year and not say earlier in the year is important because earlier the seeds probably aren't going to germinate because it's a little too cold yet and also because birds and other animals can quickly consume your seed before that optimum germination time comes, which is now and into the spring. The next thing we're gonna add to our frost seeding here is lime. Uh, whenever we're doing any type of food plot, we like to have a soil test to determine just how much lime we should use. But in this case, we don't have a soil test. We're gonna go with a more generic approach. Uh, with that being, if we know an area is very acidic, we'll apply about two tons per acre of lime. If it's more of a neutral type area like this adjacent food plot, food plot is, then we'll add more like a ton per acre of lime. Adding the lime during this time of year as we're adding the seed is important because it takes a long time for those larger particles of lime to break down and to neutralize the soil. So the more time we can give that lime to react in the soil and to neutralize it, the better. Well, so far at this site, we've added seed and we've added lime. Now it's just coming to adding fertilizer. We're not gonna add fertilizer today, however, because we know that the soil is cold. We know it's gonna take a little bit of time for that seed to work down in the soil to get some seed to soil contact and to begin germinating. So we're gonna wait a week or two before we add the fertilizer so we just have less of it potentially leaching through the system or running off site. For our second frost seeding, we're going to plant clover in Boom Pond. 
In this particular location, we've had a lot of deer come in here all last fall. We want to be able to keep a good forage in this area. In this pond, we did have some rye grain growing within it. That's what I planted last fall. It's an annual, not a big deal to have growing there because it's actually just going to act as a nurse crop to give that clover an opportunity to grow and have the deer feeding on the rye while the clover is growing. We did add lime today. Lime is important for neutralizing the soil's pH. As you neutralize the pH, more nutrients are available for the plants to uptake and transfer onto your deer herd. Frost seeding is one of those important techniques that we use on a year-to-year -year basis to improve the forage quality on our property. I hope you too use this on your proving grounds. Thank you for watching GrowingDeer.tv.